Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're continuing our march through all of the crops available to us in Farm Sim 25 by talking about sunflowers. Now sunflowers have some interesting Easter eggs and I hope to explore those with you during this video because you may not be aware of them and it makes it a pretty cool crop. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Farm Sim Academy infographic. Now this infographic does come from FS22. So while most of it does apply to FS25, we have seen a little bit of a discrepancy with respect to our seeds per hectare sometimes. So we have an average yield of 5,200 liters. And this is going to assume that there is zero yield bonus. We also have an average selling price of 2019. This is also assuming that we have the easy economy set up and that's what we're playing on. If you're playing on normal or hard economy, then the average selling price is gonna be reduced. Seeds per hectare is listed at 300, although we have seen significantly less seed being used in FS25 for several other crops during our march through these videos. The growing duration is seven months. So even if you have the growth calendar disabled, do expect to have to go through seven simulated months before you have your crop ready to harvest. You're going to be able to plant your crop in March or April and then look for harvest in the October and November time frame. Now what do we have here? Well this is a special purpose header specifically for sunflowers and we've seen headers like this in the past. Typically they've had a higher working speed so they're able to go through the sunflower field faster as opposed to a traditional corn header which can also be used to harvest your sunflowers. Let's take a look at this stuff in the shop. So that special header I said it's going to be found here under special headers. Interesting enough. We have a sunlight 40 it is a 12 meter sunflower header and has a working speed of nine miles per hour. Now a traditional corn header is gonna be able to harvest sunflowers, but it's gonna have a working speed of six miles per hour. So regardless of which header we pick, we're gonna be talking about six miles per hour. For this video, we're gonna go head to head with the North Star 1230 FB. It is nine meters wide and can do corn or sunflowers. And ultimately we're gonna see, do we get a better yield from this header? Probably not. Or is it just simply faster? And is that three miles an hour faster really worth the special $115,000 price that this particular header is gonna carry with it? 118,000, right, a lot of money. Now, as far as your harvester, you're gonna to have to be able to pick any of these harvesters in order to harvest your sunflowers. For this particular video, we're gonna use the Lexion 6900, mostly because I like it. And a second, because it's going to have a pipe that is going to be large enough in order to be able to easily unload with that larger sunflower header connected. If you go and use one of these smaller harvesters, the pipe is going to be significantly shorter and it might not be long enough to reach out from the edge of one of those larger headers. Now, with respect to planting your crop, we're going to have to use a planter. And for that, we're going to come here to the seeding category. We're going to go to planters. And any of these planters are going to be capable of putting sunflowers in the ground. For this video, we're going to use the Optima RS, mostly because I like to use it. It is 9 meters wide. It costs $89,500. It does also have the ability to put fertilizer in the ground. So you can do two jobs with one pass if you need to fertilize your field. What can you do with sunflowers? Well, you can feed them to your pigs as a protein, or you can run it through the oil mill, and the oil mill is gonna be able to process your sunflowers into sunflower oil. And it's gonna be a two to one ratio. So 20 units of sunflowers go in, 10 units of sunflowers are gonna come out. So 50% of what you put in is actually gonna come out. And then what are you going to be able to do with your sunflower oil? Well, you're going to be able to take that and sell it at the small farmer's kiosk, the large farmer's kiosk, or the farmer's market. Now, I am reminded also 
about a potato processing plant. And you know what? We can take our sunflower oil and we can further process it at our potato processing plant in order to make potato chips. So let's go ahead and find that here in our factories list. And I will admit, I don't recall off the top of my head what it looks like. There we go. So this massive factory, right? Let's put that over here. $360,000 for the potato processor and $240,000 for our oil mill. But if we take a look now at our production, the potato processor is going to accept sunflower oil and potatoes, and it's going to make potato chips. So potato chips are probably going to bring us a sweet little penny. Now let's see what we're going to look at here as far as our income goes. Sunflowers. We have Easy Economy set up on this save. And we have an average high price of $2,454. We also have an average low of $1,341 with the best time to sell, ironically, the same time it is to plant. Not so much the best time for me because that means that I'm going to have to hold on to my crop from October to November throughout winter and into March and then sell it. More on how to store that crop here in a little bit. But again, we're going to be able to sell our sunflowers at the farmer's market on Riverbend Springs, the Goldcrest Valley train sell point, the Grain Bars Terminal 1 and 2, the Rain River Silo. And if we have an oil mill pre-placed on the map, then you might be able to sell it there. Or if you own the oil mill, well, then obviously you can process your sunflowers into sunflower oil. Now, with respect to sunflower oil, we're going to be able to sell that. Well, like I said, at the Farmer's Market kiosk, the Farmer's Market, Goldcrest Valley train sell point, the restaurant, and we could always buy sunflower oil. Don't. It's not a good idea. At the warehouse. But also, if there is a potato processor, we could take our sunflower oil there and further process it into potatoes. Now, here we have an average high price, again in March, 6395 for our sunflower oil. So quite a nice jump up from our sunflowers. Uh, this is roughly three times, we'll say, the price of your sunflowers. And remember, you're getting half the output. So it does seem like it is worth the price. And then we have the average low of $3,465. Now, as far as your potatoes, once you want to go ahead and go down another level of your processing into potato chips, well, you're going to be able to sell those to big farmer's market kiosks, the farmer's market, the Goldcrest Valley train sell point, the restaurant, and the warehouse you can buy them. Don't do it. Bad idea. But there you go. Now, potato chips. Are you serious? An average high of $4,548 and an average low of $4,467 on Easy Economy. No. No. Don't see us doing that because I can sell my sunflower oil for a lot more. We'll have to do the math. Maybe we get a whole lot more potato chips, and therefore we make it up in volume. But we also have to deal with potatoes. We'll have that video out in the channel very, very shortly. So with that said, let's come back over here and focus on well, getting these sunflowers in the ground. And to do that, we're gonna to need to fill our planter with seed. So we have three different types of seed here in the game. We have a big bag pallet of seed, we have a big bag of seed, and we have a pallet of seed bags. Now, why would you buy one over the other? User preference, of course. Maybe you like these. And you go ahead, $1,260 for all three of these. Now, of course, if you want a little bit more for your money, then you definitely want to get the pallet of seed bags because you have 1,050 liters of seed in that whereas you have just a thousand liters of seed in these two where are you going to find those in a shop well you can find them under seeding under the category of seeds here you have your big bag pallet your big bag and your pallet of seed bags or you can come down here to objects and from objects we have big bags there's your seeds there 
your big bag pallets. There's your seeds there. Or your pallets, and there you go. You got your seeds right there. Once you have your seed, well, we're gonna go ahead and load this thing up. I'm gonna back this up here to our seed, and we're gonna fill it up. It's gonna hold 660 liters worth of seed. So this particular planter does not really hold a whole lot. Now that we have loaded it full of seed, we're gonna hit Y to toggle over to sunflowers. And now that we have done that, we're also gonna change our planter over into work mode. So right now we are attached in transport mode. We can easily drive down the field in this orientation. We're going to disconnect from the end and we're going to reattach here in the middle right in front of the fertilizer hopper. And then we are going to hit X to fold this thing up and go into work mode. And now we are ready to plant. I'm not going to put fertilizer in here because the field that I have already prepared does have fertilizer already applied to it so it does not need any additional fertilizer. You would of course if you needed to plow this field you would have gone ahead and plowed this field, added lime if you needed to add lime, cultivated the field and various other things in order to get it up to the point that you're ready to plant. I have enabled guided steering just so that I can make nice and straight lines and be consistent with my planting. I'm going to keep track of how much seed we use and then I'll be back with you here in a brief little bit. Alright, so remember we started with 660 liters worth of seed. I now have 521 liters worth of seed, so we used 139 liters worth of seed here on our approximately one hectare sunflower field. So less than what the infographic said, but not a massive amount less. I mean, some of the ones that we've seen have been pretty far reduced compared to that. Now this field does need weeding, and I'm just going to go ahead and spray herbicide on this field just in order to get it to a point where we don't have to worry about weeds. Now, of course, you could use a weeder um, on this field also at this point, but uh, I've already got the sprayer here. It's got a nice boom, so it's got a nice working width, and we'll make this job go pretty darn quick. So let me finish putting herbicide on this field, and then we'll come back after a growth state, and we'll see what the crop looks like. We made it into May now, or I guess I should say April. We've made it into April, and we do have a little bit of growth on our sunflowers. See, we have 95% yield on our field. And the keen-eyed among you may have noticed when I was lining up for the herbicide pass that we had a beehive here at the end of the field. Well, that is because bees are going to provide a 5% bonus to our sunflowers. So I went ahead and put some bees here. We'll see. We'll see how we do. I mean, at 95% field bonus, 5% bee bonus, well, we should see where we're at. Now, we've run through enough of these videos at this point on this field to know that when our field says 95% bonus, at the end of the day, we typically see around 93% bonus from what the infographic says we should see. So are we gonna see a 98% bonus near doubling as a result? And the reason we see 93% is because this field is just under one hectare in size, basically. So if we come here and we go over to our farmlands tab and we click on this 1.18 hectares for the entire farmland, that includes all the way up to the road, up here to the fence, and there's a little bit of grass on either side of the field that is also added. <laughs> Sorry, into that. And that's why basically of the 1.18 hectares, 
the field is just under one once you factor in all that other stuff. So let's go ahead and fast forward to our second growth state. We made it to June. We've got a little bit more growth on our sunflowers. So you can see the flower is starting to open up. Things are getting taller. Everything looks great on this field. Let's go ahead and move into the next month and see if we get another growth state. I expect we're not going to see another growth state until August, quite frankly, because it is going to be ready to harvest in October. As I predicted, August, we have our next growth state, and these sunflowers, they really do look good in FS25 compared to what they've looked like in the previous games. And I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you a little Easter egg you may or may not be aware of. You see the sunflowers. You see the sun. Let's move speed up time a wee little bit. And we'll watch the sunflowers turning turning and following the sun as it moves through the sky. Isn't that cool? Totally not facing the same direction they were just a few minutes ago. All right, that, that was one of the little Easter eggs. One of the little Easter eggs I wanted to show you. Now let's go ahead and make this into a rated harvest state, at which time we're going to save the game. We're going to harvest with our standard header. We're going to document the yield. We're then going to reload the save and harvest with our sunflower header. It's so sad. So sad when, you're har when your sunflowers look like this. I mean, yeah, they're ready to harvest. That's what I'm trying to say. But, you know, they're just downturned. They're like, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I just don't want to look at the sun anymore. So now they're ready to harvest. Uh, let's go ahead, like I said, jump into our harvester. We'll unfold our harvester. We'll unfold our header. And we're going to get on the harvesting. And we'll see what kind of yield we get with our with our bees. Do they push us over the 93% edge? They should, mathematically, because everything we've seen so far has been 93%. And you just see that. You just see the head. So this is another one of those. Well, now it now it knows it's harvesting sunflowers. It's going to keep the head up. Just like sorghum when we harvested that, we run our head high in order to cut the sunflower off basically just below the flower. And that then helps protect the seed so we get the most seed possible. And let's check our soil composition. And we are not, I repeat, not getting a mulch state from our harvest here. So this field is mulched, but what we just harvested is not mulched. So you will need to come through here if you do want to get that extra 2.5% with a mulcher and mulch your crop. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish harvesting this and I'll bring you back in and I'll update you on what we got as far as total yield. All right, so here we have our sunflowers, 10,235 liters. 10,235 liters from our approximately one hectare field. Now remember, the infographic says that we should have a yield of 5,200. So we are talking about a 96.8% yield bonus. 
because if we had 100%, it would be 10,400. We're at 10,235. So 96.8. We typically see around 93% bonus on our field here when we have a 95% bonus because, again, it's just a little bit under one hectare in size. So, yeah, our bees definitely helped out. I don't know if they helped out 5%, but they definitely helped out. Now, I get the 5% from the Giants Academy. Again, that's related to FS22 data. There's no real sign that they have really changed how bees work with respect to crops in FS25. So we're just going to go with that and assume it's fairly accurate. But if we were to really talk about it from our own results, well, we're seeing about a 3.8% maybe. 3% increase from what we typically see, which is somewhere around 93%. So, yeah. Results may vary. Your mileage may vary, basically. Now, we're going to reset and basically jump in our harvester with our new sunflower header. And, well, we'll see what we get. So, round two, again, we're going to be using the sunlight sunflower harvester header. And it's kind of an interesting design. We've got these fingers kind of out at the front in order to bring the plant in line. We've got our cutter bar there at the bottom. Cutting the plant off. And then we've got these beaters kind of bringing it in to the auger, which is then going to pull it into the harvester itself. Remember, this is going to have a nine mile an hour working speed as opposed to a six mile an hour working speed of the standard harvester. Right, so if you're harvesting a big field of sunflowers, well, this is going to cause it to go pretty darn quick. Right? Is it going to increase the yield? I don't know. That's what this test is finding out. But, uh, does it increase the yield, then, well, is it really kind of worth it in the end? And like, that's going to be up to you, depending on how big the fields are that you are harvesting of sunflowers. Then a couple extra mile per hour may really pay for itself. We are booking along. A nice little pretty flip. But again, this thing is fairly expensive at over $100,000 for this special purpose header. So, round two is finished. 10,209 liters. Just a hair, hair lower than what we had with the traditional harvester. 10,235 to 10,209. 96.8% is what we saw with the traditional harvester. 96.3% is what we see with this header. Margin of error. Pretty much the same yield. This is going to go a bit faster. Now, I'm going to just dump this here in our oil mill. The whole thing is just going to go into our oil mill. Now, we could, of course, sell this if we wanted to. And if we did that, well, let's go ahead and take a look again at our prices screen. So if we wanted to sell our sunflowers at the max high price, 2426 times 10,209. Really, it's 10.209 because remember, these prices are priced per thousand liters. That comes out to... $24,767. If we sold one hectare's worth of sunflowers at the best price that we see listed right here. But that's not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to make sunflower oil. And we pretty much established that we think we think potatoes are not worth the effort, but we will kind of run a little bit of a math. I need to put that back down uh, 
because I had to reset a couple things. But that's all fine and dandy. There we have our potato plant back. Let's activate our sunflower oil here. And we have 10,209 liters in. We're going to get 5,104 liters worth of sunflower oil out. So basically five pallets of sunflower oil. Let's take a look at our sunflower oil price. 6,005. 6,353 times five pallets. So if we sold sunflower oil, five pallets of sunflower oil is just 31,765. $6,000, $7,000 more than what you would have gotten if you sold just the grain itself. But let's go ahead and fast forward into tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how that really pans out. Took so just over a day in order to get five pallets of sunflower oil. So we're going to go and sell one at the small kiosk. 5,306. We're going to sell one at the large kiosk. Five thousand five eleven, and we're gonna sell one at the farmers market, the large one. I think five thousand five hundred eleven is gonna be kind of the high price. So yeah, five five thousand five hundred eleven times five. So that really came out to just twenty seven thousand, but twenty seven thousand isn't 5,511. It's not the best time yet, right? We're on a downfall. any rate, what if we took and took those five pallets of sunflower oil and put them in our potato processor? Well, math isn't always my strong suit. So I think, I think I've added enough potatoes to basically use up all 5,000 liters worth of sunflower oil. And I think it's going to make 30 pallets, 30,000 bags of potato chips. I think. We'll see. But if it is, well, we would have needed 100,000 liters worth of potatoes on top of our 5,000 liters of sunflowers. But if. We really get 30,000 liters worth of potato chips, 30 pallets at $4,541. Well, boys and girls, that comes to $136,230 for our one hectare of sunflowers. Now it's yet to be seen how many hectares of potatoes we would have to also harvest in order to get that amount because well we haven't done our potato video yet at least i haven't done our potato video yet but we'll be getting to that in a very near future let me go ahead and fast forward and see basically how long it takes to process 100,000 liters worth of potatoes and 5,000 liters worth of sunflower oil make potato chips so it took us all the way into March in order to churn through all of those potatoes and sunflower oil I did my math right at least as far as the inputs go didn't have the math right as far as the outputs go though because we didn't get 30 pallets we got 15 so here we got 3 6 9 12 15 pallets of potato chips and therefore our Profit is not near as high as one would have maybe initially had thought it to be, but here we are. Let's see here. 
10,811. But of course, it's it's not it's not really. What is going on with this insanity, people? I mean, prices are not the prices. I can't count on the prices anymore. 9, 11, 11. I mean, what's going on with the world? Ten thousand nine sixty-three. dollars $164,000. And $445. So, what's up with the prices there, Giants? I mean, that's clearly not what's shown here. But clearly it's what we got. Can't dispute visual evidence. So at any rate, yes, we had to harvest 100,000 liters worth of potatoes in order to get 15 pallets of potato chips. But if we had one hectare worth of sunflowers, undetermined amount of ground needed for our potatoes. Um, let's, let me pause real quick. So according to the infographic, we need 41,300 liters of potatoes per hectare. That's base yield, right? So if we get a good yield, we're nearly doubling that. So that's nearly 80,000 liters worth of potatoes per hectare. So we need just over one hectare, maybe one, 1 1.4, 1.5 hectares would definitely cover you as far as your potatoes go for all of those potato chips. So a hectare and a half of potatoes, a hectare of sunflowers in order to get your sunflower oil to then be able to make 15 pallets of potato chips. One that you $164,000. Do that a couple times, you'll have paid for your oil mill, and you'll pay for your potato processing plant, and you'll pay for your giant potato harvester, which you're going to need, and everything else. And at that point, then the special header for your sunflowers is just a viewpoint. I mean, that's the smallest expense out of all of that, but it is potentially some pretty big money. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to sunflowers. Are you going to be growing sunflowers? Now remember, you can also use it as food for pigs. It could be one of your proteins for your pig food. But yeah, now once you harvest your sunflowers, right, you're going to need to come in here and mulch the ground. You're also going to need to plow the ground, just like you have to plow the ground after your corn harvest, okay? So you need to plow post sunflower harvest, plow post corn harvest as well, as we have shown in a different video. Please go ahead and share this video out with others that you know that like Farm Sim. Go ahead and give the video a like if you indeed did like it. And I think if you're watching it up to this point, then clearly you did like it because there's been plenty of opportunity to jump ship at this point. And if you're not a subscriber, Go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. Until next time, happy farming.